Hey folks, it's Patriot Nurse, and in today's segment, I want to discuss with you something that I noticed, and you'll probably notice it too, that is, if you go to work every day. Uh, and there are some of us whose work is to stay at home and to take care of kids, and I get that too, but I want to share with you something that I noticed in rush hour traffic. So I don't typically make it, my schedule doesn't line up typically with going into a city at rush hour. But I've been doing some continuing education over the past few weeks, which is why I missed a video last week, um, because I was just really, really tired after it. But I was driving into this larger size city at the time when people who work are typically going in to a city, and I noticed something. What I noticed was a whole lot of don't tread on me flags, a whole lot of support for constitutional things, uh, a whole lot of pro second amendment stickers. Basically what I noticed was that the people who actually work for a living, the people who are the fabric of this nation, they tend to be conservative. Now I'm not saying that there weren't any libtards in the midst of all this, but what I noticed was that for the most part, the people who were going to work in the morning were conservative. I didn't see a single in the three days that I was going back and forth into this major city in the morning. I didn't see a single Bernie Sanders sticker. I didn't see a single like like communist whatever. I didn't see it. It wasn't there. Now I'm not saying it doesn't exist, but what I'm what I'm telling you is probably something that you may have already noticed yourself and that is that people who work tend to be conservative. People who don't work, people who suck off the system, people who want other people to pay for their habits, they tend to be liberals. Now, liberalism slash now modern day straight up communism, there is no distinction between socialism and communism. Karl Marx used them, the terms interchangeably in his work, okay? So don't give me this like, oh, democratic socialism, socialism isn't communism. Yeah, whatever. Uh, what I've noticed here is that, and Reed made a video about this as well, but that communism really appeals to two groups of people. It appeals to people who are just straight up envious and covetous of other people's stuff, people who don't work for things that they feel they deserve. And then there's another group of people who really have arrived and have made so much money that any implications to them from their standpoint are going to be negligible. So of course, you know, what's an extra fifty, sixty thousand dollars a year in taxes or what's an extra hundred and fifty thousand, whatever the case may be, you know, they don't care because they have had, you know, so much money or they've inherited so much, whatever the case may be, that it doesn't really apply to them. That there's not going to be any sting in this formula. The sting in the whole wealth redistribution thing, the sting in the whole take your rights away, that's for us. That's for us us simpletons, those people who actually work in the United States, people who are, for the most part, you know, getting up, doing things every day that are productive and contributive to society. And that's just something that I noticed. And I'm sure if you have spent any time in traffic recently, you probably, I'm, I'm one of those people that I look around and I notice stuff. Of course, I pay attention to the road, clearly, but I'm observant in traffic and I tend to see, and you tend to there are certain aggregate types of people that end up with a Bernie sticker and end up with a whole coexist sticker, and they tend to fall into a self-induced protein deficiency, beta mel, or a chick with half her hair hacked off that really hates her father somewhere along the way. So that's just what I've noticed. I'm sure I've offended a whole bunch of people, but I hope you'll take it in, uh, in, in humor instead of being you know, shriveling away out of you know, being triggered. But I hope it was helpful for y'all. I just wanted to make a quick video there and reach out to you and uh, let you guys know I'm, I'm still alive. I'm going to be doing a lot of continuing education over the next uh, few days, but I wanted to put a video out there. I hope it was helpful for y'all today. If you enjoyed the video, I hope you'll subscribe to me, Patriot Nurse. I know like if I haven't offended you yet, oh, too much. Whoa. You can also support me on Patreon. I got a link in the description box below. I hope it was helpful for you guys. Have a wonderful week. For now, it's Patriot Nurse signing off and I'll see y'all later. Bye.